once again we're a package, P-A-K-G. You know that awkward first date where you want to touch her but you kind of don't want to touch her? I have this going on right here. We're kind of, there's a big gap. Can we be a little close? Can we touch one another just a little bit? I want to be able to touch you. Okay, I can touch him now. So. I don't feel alone. I was always like, yo, like I'm gonna make it rapping. And then once I have the platform that I've that I've created from rapping, then I'll be able to do what I really wanna do. And I always said I wanna be a blues artist, I wanna be a rock guy. But I'm like, if I do that stuff now, no one's gonna like it. It's not it's not gonna work. Like I would rather be, you know, just just comfortable for a for a while now than to be 40 or 50 or 60 and not be myself. We're at AMP. It's the Academy of Music Production, Education Development, um, AMP for short. And this is where I teach um, music production classes um, and DJ classes. We also have like piano, guitar, just basically an after school creative arts program for the youth, 8 to 18. So all like middle school and high school. And then we go to different areas, we go to schools. I go to the jail twice a week and with the youth in jail, make songs with them and stuff too like that. Having this place is an outlet, but then it gives them also something to do, like just to let them know people care about them. Yo, I'm Pinky. I play guitar. The best, that's what I do, the best. About five or six when I got a keyboard and you know that was cool or whatever. But uh, I was like, this ain't enough. It's like I'm very tactile, so I like, you know, what I'm saying sensitive to the touch. I want to hold something. I finally got one and I ain't played it down since then, like ever. People were asking me to teach them how to play. Like a lot of adults would ask me, so I had like a little kickback in my house, and a lot of people came over and just learned like the basics. Being able to create music is a very therapeutic thing. Like it gets me through a lot. Like I create through emotion. So like being able to play the bass and like being able to articulate my feelings through that is it's it's cool because I'm learning again. We've been musicians for so long, like, you know, in, in our own separate right that it's like us switching the mode from, you know, hip hop and hood stock I mean, really like almost immediately to package which was kind of like a, you know, see what you can do. Like, if you're a real musician, we'll see what's up. Felt good to be recognized by uh, someone in this position, someone of his caliber. So when she tell me that she leaving, I'ma let her leave. My aroma in a room ain't gonna let her breathe. Yeah, the smell of lots of money and a couple of peas. This on record, I can smash you on. Yeah. This on record, never ask for a front. At the same time, I didn't feel like that was my moment. Because at that point in my career, I'd been doing it for eight years or something. That was the first time anything big had happened. So it was like a, the universe saying, don't stop just yet. People care. Just be patient. I just want to be in the music. I don't really want to like be on it. You know, and I think that recording with an instrument microphone may help that. Reality is in your soul, it's not outside, I don't know. Somewhere up in the clouds, the claim there's a sea of love, and a treasure buried in my soul, that I just can't see and find. Maybe I'm lost. Maybe I'm lost. When you hug me, it feels like I'm when I'm not alone, it feels like I'm being trapped. I <laughs> Dude, that's my favorite thing I've ever recorded. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.
I knew I wanted to be a rock and roll artist. But the neighborhood that I grew up in and you know, my friends and what we've seen, what we were familiar with wasn't that. So it wasn't really acceptable. That wasn't a dream that my environment was ready to embrace. So I, I took that dream away and it took 20 years of living and learning and hurting and suffering inside to find that bravery to move toward that dream. And that's what I'm doing now. And I want to eliminate that 20 years of internal suffering for the generations that are to come. Oh, good job, buddy. When you listen to music, who do you want to listen to? Who sings that song? Who am I? You have to want to do that. You can't let external factors convince you that your purpose is something different. I want to break that mold of you have to do something because of where you're from. So if I can make this and I can make it happen, then all the other kids that want to make things happen will believe that, hey, he's from here and he did that, so I can be from here and I can do this. 1210 Liberty Court. Um, it's my mom's old apartment, and now you know I bounce back and forth from staying with my mom, staying with my grandma, staying with my mom. But here in this housing project, I became a man. You know, and becoming a man means stupid stuff like um, I learned how to shoot dice. I started carrying guns. <laughs> I learned how to fight. My question is, I go to the park in the east end of town, on the north end of town, they have a basketball court, but they also have a soccer field, and they have a baseball diamond, and we only get a basketball court. So for future reference, you know, when we're building these inherently oppressed neighborhoods, at least, you know, mask it a little bit and give us a soccer field, you know, and our baseball diamond. Because we want to do more than just play basketball forever. They're going to do something cool like that for Kentucky, put a bourbon distillery here, and they're going to make it a part of downtown because we're in downtown. So they try and tear this stuff down and make it more like touristy, make it look better for the people that are coming and visiting the city so the city can make more money and not share it with the people that don't have any money. No one knows where they're going to go. I don't know. The Section 8 list is probably um, longer than that wall Trump's trying to build. I Sim I am. Uh -huh. Sim I am. Oh my goodness, it's so This It's a system thing. The, the higher ups, whoever they are. You know, they've just given us sports, um, hip hop, and they gave us AIDS. <laughs> 2010, my brother was killed um, at my grandmother's house left on the side of the house. That was just the moment I had to get away from the city. I had to uh, stop following suit and just, you know, pursue my dream. I got a backpack, a couple hundred dollars, and went to Lexington. Uh, Lexington is where I met everyone that I'm in the band with today. They were all producers. I was rapping at the time. Started rapping on their beats, hanging out with them, you know, became brothers, and now we're here. We're making the music that um, that I've always wanted to make. <laughs> we don't have a producer, like we're our own producer. So we'll always have that sound. Your way is the best way, I think.
careful what you do, man, because the kids are watching. That's what the album is called. The kids are watching. Same as promotion. <laughs> draft day. Hey. It's draft day. I don't want to be like overconfident or sound egotistical, but there's no way that I could fail because in the event that I did not make it, it's because I died first, if that makes sense. So I will never fail. I might die not un un unexpectedly, but then I wouldn't know that I failed because I'd be dead. So You're I'm not still successful. Shit, yeah. yeah, like, you know, like I was blazing a trail, That's, and I'm cool with that.